Welcome back to the King's Queen, where I teach you how to master your hustle. Long time no speak. I know, I know. Went through a few personal things in life with my family, but things are better now. So I had to come back to my YouTube family and hit you all with some stuff that I've been working on, that I've been doing, I've been trying out. I've missed you all. And I'm glad if you're watching this, you stayed around and waited for me to come back. And those of you who left, hopefully you will return and hit that subscribe button one more time. But um, today we are going to work on clip art. And we're going to do it in a simple way. Simplified, that's the best way. That's the only way that I want to do things now i want to get things done i want to get the most for my time because you can't get time back so um i'm gonna show you all how i use chat gpt to create clip art bundles so i'm gonna type in this prompt and this is a voiceover so if things don't completely match with what you're looking at that's why I am doing a voiceover. But right now, I am putting in the prompt, and it says, I want to create a bundle of planner girls. They are African American. The theme is denim and camouflage. That's the theme that we're going to be working with today. And then we're going to put in that each woman will be wearing a different outfit. So this is what we're going to get a little variation with our clip art so it all goes together, but have the same thing. Each woman will be wearing a different outfit of dark denim and camo. And we're going to have dresses. We want skirts. We want pants jackets etc so on and so on you can put anything you want in this prompt box of what you want them to be wearing but this is what we're doing for these right now and then we're going to tell it each woman will have a different hairstyle and she also will be doing different poses doing different activities this is how we get a different look for each person Lastly, I want them all to be on the same sheet. And when I say same sheet, we're going to put all, um, create all of these images at the same time. So I want them all to be on the same sheet. Tell it that you want it to be 8.5 by 11 inches. And you want it to be on a white background, isolated by white space so that when you get ready to remove the background and separate them you can do it a little bit easier so they won't be close to each other and removing them will be very easy for you but now we're going to see what chat gpt does for us i've been working with this for a while created a bunch of different clip art bundles which can be found on my etsy shop shameless plug <laughs> But um, clip art is doing well right now, and I'm just trying to put out some um some cute bundles. I'm trying to be different. Like I said, they're um they're popular now, but I want to I want my stuff to look a little different. So what I'm doing here is not exactly what will be in my shop but I'm still showing you the basics of how to create these bundles. And I did not click at the bottom and tell it to create an image. So it actually is giving me the prompts and the styling right now, which is good if you want that. But I'm just going to go down here and hit this plus sign and tell it to create the image for me because I just want the image. We can deal with the prompting later with all the um, information that it gave, but 
right now i just want the image i just want the planner girls that i asked for so we're gonna give it a little minute and see what it gives us but while we're waiting on that i hope you all are having a blessed 2026 we made it over i'm so happy i'm so blessed that the year last year is over it was a rough year for the family we had some sickness and that's as far as i'm gonna go into that but um i only see things going up from here god is good but now let's get back to these planner girls and as you can see we have some cuties look at that each girl is different she's wearing something different but they all have that same denim and camo theme these are cute i really 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 like how they came out and see how they are spaced out and when you get ready to separate them one won't be in the way of the other when we crop them to separate them i love the hair this one in the middle she's my favorite this one down here at the bottom with the notebook and she's got on the cargo camo pants i like that too but i like how they all have different hair styles one with the side swept locks that's cute too real cute so i'm going to download this image and then i'm going to go over to canva for you all who don't know how to um separate them i'm going to show you a quick little tutorial of how i do it it's not hard at all so i'm going to go to custom and for clip art i use 1000 by 1000 or 2000 by 2000 so when i bundle them i can fit more in my compressed zip file and i don't have to put them on a on google drive and just um <clears throat> give a link I can just give them the the file of the PNG files straight to download. They don't have to go through the Google access link. I'm going to upload the image that we just downloaded from ChatGPT. I'm also going to change the background of this so that you can see that when we remove the background, it's a clean removal. There's no white space that we have to remove or anything. It's just a clean removal. So we're going to click background remover. And it doesn't take long at all. And there we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clip art images that we can make a bundle. And I'm going to show you how to separate them so i'm going to duplicate the page a few times i'm not going to touch the girls yet I'm just going to duplicate the pages a few times now i'm going to go back up to the top i'm going to click on the image and i'm going to use the little purple sliders and just slide it until the rest of the girls are out of the way and there's only one there i'm gonna go up a little bit further so we can get rid of that girl and we only have one left and then i'm gonna enlarge her by just pulling at the corners and there we have one of our pngs so that we can use these for stickers or putting them on shirts or in notebooks or whatever you use clip art for i'm going to show you how to do another one do the same thing just drag those purple sliders and then we enlarge it from the corners this one is really, really cute.
enlarge it a little bit more. Here we go with our second. I'm going to do it one more time so that you can see that it's very simple, very easy. All you got to do is take your time and move that slider. Now, I did not show you all in this um, video, but if the, the girls that are surrounding the one that you want to keep, if they're in the way, all you have to do is click on remove background again and it's going to take you to another screen and all you got to do is erase around the girl if some of the pieces from one of the other girls is just in the way and you can't crop it out without accidentally cropping your girl that you've already that you want to keep all you got to do is erase in the background remover if you want me to show you that in another video let me know down below because I didn't show you in that video and I, sh in, I mean in this video and I should have but like I said this is a voiceover so it's been done so we're gonna go back to Google I'm gonna show you how to come up with different outfits if you have trouble thinking up different outfits for um, your planner girls this is a very simple way to come up with cute, stylish, trendy outfits, any kind you want, anything you think of, and you just go to Google, and I'm going to go to Look Book Outfits, and I like this one right here. It's kind of different. It's out there, and I just want to show you it doesn't matter what you put in ChatGPT, how outlandish or how wild you think it is. It can create it for you. So we're going to go with this one. And I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to save this image to my computer. And now I'm going to go back to ChatGPT. And I am going to click the plus sign and I'm going to add a photo. I'm going to click on that photo of the outfit. Now I'm going to tell ChatGPT to create another sheet of planner girls. And they're going to be wearing this outfit. I still want the different hairstyles, the different poses. But I want them to all be in this outfit. So we got the glittery top, the platform heels, the jeans, the shades. They have all of that to play with. Now I want them all on this 8.5 by 11 sheet with the white background that is going to give us this whole sheet of clip art. Now isn't this... A whole lot faster than creating one and then creating another and then creating another. I like doing it like this because it it keeps it easier for the the, the aesthetic to stay the same. Because if you create one and then you create another one later, sometimes the patterns don't match up. But if you do it at the same time on the same sheet, everything most of the time matches perfectly one girl is not looking one way and the other girl is not looking totally different with a different design so i like to do it this way aesthetic wise so we're going to see what they give us And here we go. As we can see, it gave us that glittery top. 
you were wondering if it could do the sequin look. As you can see, it looks like this top is sequin. She's got the jeans on. And there goes those chunky heels. But this is too cute. I love how this came out. I love the different poses. And there we go. Another set of clip art for us to remove the background, separate, and put in our Etsy shops or, like I said, whatever platform we go on. And as we can see, that girl, she does not have on the same shoes, but it's okay. All we got to do is tell it to create again and give them all the same shoes. But I am loving this. Look at their hair. The hair is just too cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. But um, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you all. I just had to come back and show my face, so to speak, without showing my face. But um, it won't be that long before I come back, I promise you guys. And with all of that being said, until next time, you all. Be blessed.